Hey, how's it going, boys? What is up? So it's back once again for yet another character impression. This time is the next summer character. She's come summer, right? Let me check. Yes, she is summer. Because, <laughs> you know, there's like Yukata and summer now. So it's like, yeah, you know. So we have summer Tabina. God damn. Mm. Oh, delicious chocolate, man. God damn, brother. Tabina action back at it again. All right. So we have Tabina. Summer Tabina. She is dark. Wow, she is dark. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she has 1245 HP. She has 97, 75 attack. She has uh, attack style character. She has bow and axe. Wait, was she axe before? <laughs> oh, she is. All right. <laughs> I never knew that. Okay. I'm all I knew. Probably I did, but I forgot. Okay. So her first Ogi is Sada Sada Bark. Sada Bar? Yeah. Uh, massive dark damage to a foe. Activates Sharm Shams Shams? Shams Al Saif. Which is the first skill. Oh. OTK character. Wow, okay. So her first skill is four hit dark damage to a foe. Dodge all attacks from foes one time and refill two hunters' arrows. Oh wow. It's multi-hit too. Wow. Actually, if you think about it, this multi-hit is actually going to be fucking nasty though. Especially with the, the whole new supplemental, you know, the whole dark supplemental skill damage thing. Like, uh, the new weapon, wasn't it? What's the new weapon called? The, the dark bow shit, what's it called? Agonize. Yeah. Supplement dark ally skill damage. That might actually be really sick with this, yeah. Um, okay, so her second skill is uh, all mouth the kill. Four hit dark damage to a foe as well. Hit to attack and the oh this is that one, okay. <laughs> so this is that one, okay. The whole the whole the old skill of hers. Okay, so she get all that. She attacks this two, but wait, how much is that? Ten percent, yes. So she's this two is ten percent each up to forty percent. Yeah, right. So this two and one, okay. So one of these will apply, okay. This two will apply plus any one of these, okay. And then her third skill is Hubu al -Regs. Dark boost to dark allies, uh, debuff success rate, boost to skill specs. Supplemental damage, ends upon taking damage two times. Wow, this sounds pretty amazing. Her supplemental is 50,000. So eight turns cooldown, it hits twice, like, take two times so the the if you're really really dead unlucky your downtime will be six turns that doesn't sound too bad actually this is a really damn good skill holy crap skill specs shit they didn't mention the numbers for that one fuck <laughs> they didn't mention the skill specs i'm assuming maybe 25 percent or something fuck i don't know but yeah supplemental damage is supplemental damage and skill specs though Woo! Okay. Beach Huntress. Four arrows at a battle start at the end of turn when one or more hunter arrows are granted. Activate... Wait, what? At the end of turn when one or more hunter arrows are granted. Activate... Second skill. So whenever you cast her first skill or you Ogi... She automatically casts this as well. Because it granted, right? Granted means you get, right? Because it says when one or more hunter arrows are granted. Meaning she gets, right? <laughs> when she, at the current turn, whenever she gets any, like one or more arrows in that turn, she will auto activate her second skill. But see, I mean, that sounds, that sounds good. Okay, that sounds pretty good. But at the same time, you are also consuming the arrow. Um, Spice of Love. Boost to dodge rate based on attacking foe's number of debuffs. Upon dodging, 4 hit dark damage to random foes. 10% boost to all allies' charge bars. That's not bad. Did they say how much is a dodge? Fuck. They didn't say it as well. Damn, it's not complete. <laughs> I was hoping it would be complete by now. Um, alright, let me see this. Jesus fuck. What the fuck is the attack? Holy shit, what is this? What? 
What the fuck is the amount of damage this thing has? Holy shit, what? Dude, this is fucking insane. What? But still, holy fuck, man. <laughs> Wait, what's this? I. It's a fist? How. It... How is that a fist? Uh, yeah. Is that one question that you'll never get answers from? <laughs> Dude, if you actually have one of this already, right? In like your high. Because already we are using Highlander for Luca shit, right? If you already have one of these, this alone is already gonna help you so much anyway. <laughs> Cause if you think about it, weapons like these, right? Weapons like these benefits you a lot, especially if you're planning to full auto in like primal or whatever shit. This thing is fucking nuts. <laughs> The amount of damage you get out of these, plus you have small and meaty as well, by the way. You have big and medium. <laughs> this is almost as crazy as, um. Like, like Rosetta's weapon or like the, uh, the likes of, uh, AK or something. It's crazy. <laughs> wait, before that though. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Before I, before I move on, I need to look at her. Her EMP. So she has one skill camp. Three crits. Wow. She has three crits, one skill camp, and one debuff success rate. One Ogi. Wow, that's actually pretty neat though. Three crits. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Cause it's more or less she'll probably get guaranteed crit anyway. Uh, so, one, one, two, three crits, four, five, six. Yeah, I guess you can just do that. Max out the crits, the skill cap, the, the debuff success rate, and Ogi. I don't think she really needs HP or defense or attack for that matter. Because I mean like her, her stats is not that bad. Her attack stat is relatively high already too. I mean, if you want, you can actually give her more HP though, if you don't really want to put in the, like, say for example, because for anyone's wondering, you can actually get Awakened level 8 now, and that essentially, the, if for balance especially, that is just going to give you extra 15% more CA damage. So if you're really not bothered with the extra 20% more CA damage from just her EMP, you can just go her Awakenings route and then just give her more HP. You could actually do that. It is actually possible if you really want to get more HP on a Sid character anyway. But to me, I think it's just better off just slotting that in unless you really need more HP. Yeah. I'll just give her that extra 20% more... Uh, what's that? Ogi damage along with the, the Awakening thing. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. But, uh, but yeah, it's already pretty damn good though. Uh, EMP is relatively decent as well. So, number one, she is really good for OTK. She's really, really good for uh, full auto as well. Right? She will not. This is the TLDR. She is not good for Luca because she is only usually in three different scenarios, right? Full auto, Luca, and OTK. She's good in both. She's not good in full, in, uh, in uh, Luca's strat. But you could also use her for like hard, hard shit too if you want. To just deal more damage I suppose. But at the same time it's like... She nukes a lot though. You have to remember she will nuke a lot because of uh, this thing. Uh, this thing. Whenever you use it. And then this thing. She will have a lot of nukes. So if you have like... Your grid. Just mostly focus on extra damage cap. Supplemental. Skill cap. Excuse me. Any one of those, I think you're easily just gonna... Mm, good stuff. She's just gonna do all that sick-ass damage for you. Yeah. There's, there is definitely no doubt about that. This one goes up to 80,000 per, per hit. This is without any cap. 80,000 per hit is a lot though. This is without cap. 80,000 is pretty fucking high. <laughs> Same goes for this. This is 80,000 as well. This one is 60,000. Wow. Actually, this is really high. <laughs> 80,000. So, 
4 times is... Yeah, 320,000. So 320,000... Because this is 4 hits. If you have any form of supplemental... Or any form of extra cap, this applies on each individual hits. So imagine if you go up to like... Really, really high if you are just really focused on skill cap. Imagine it goes up to 200k plus per hit. That's easily non-stop 1 million, 1 million, 1 million, 1 million, 1 million, 1 million. <laughs> because this applies, right? You're doing this on Ogi, you're doing this on uh, this by manually pressing as well, because this is 5 turns, right? Yeah. So this is 5 turns, and then you're also doing it via her passive as well. So it's just mostly just non-stop, just nuke after nukes after nukes. That's why, like, this is really insane. Like, if you have, like, um, like, yeah, the new weapons, you activate her, her S3, you have Baleo summons, you have, like, all the extra summons, whatever, that increases your damage whatsoever. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you just, just constant, man. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're, you are technically also doing another one via dodge. Because you have guaranteed dodge whenever you Ogi. Because he activates this. So. She nukes like hard, man. Like just... Some smash. <laughs> She's some smashing. Every every time she needs Ogis or whatever. Really good. Really, really good OTK character. Very, very good. She does so much. Because she does... 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 extra nukes. <laughs> On Ogi. <laughs> Literally for by Ogi. But yeah, you 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 do a lot. Basically, in short, you just do a lot of fucking your nukes, okay? <laughs> so, end of the day, full auto is fucking amazing. OTK is fucking amazing. She's really good in both of them. You see, even though, the reason why, even though this is zero turns, you can, she'll never use that at all. It makes it even better for full auto because you're not consistently just spamming your arrows. So you're always gonna have like probably one arrow or something. Cause if you have like say for example you have a Jiki or something. Or any characters that has non-stop like meter uh, meter gain or whatever, you just get so much meter on her to the point that she can just keep some smashing. Non-stop in full auto. She just some smash. So good. She's actually a really good character. Holy fuck. She works really well with Dark Albert because Albert is also another character that nukes really fucking hard. Because once you get, I think, 5 stacks, I think? Yeah, once Albert gets that 5 stacks of the Thunderstruck thing, my, my grid is like, whatever, right? I'm not really fully focused on just skill cap or skill damage specs or whatever shit. He can just hit 6 fucking million. <laughs> 6 million plus on that. Imagine he, he has all this as extra as well. He has extra supplemental and this skill specs as well. Ooh. But yeah, the only problem is that sh yeah, you just need a lot of uh, meter gain and such. But yeah. She's really, really good for full auto, man. Holy crap. Full auto character. Man, I want her. <laughs> I want her because she's well, this Tabina and... Uh, it looks like she's a fun character to just slot in for the hell of it too. I feel like for a character like Tabina, she can actually be... She has a potential to be preferred actually. Because it does look like a character like her, you could probably make use of her in majority of the given situations. Literally the only thing that might not be good to use her for is... Well, Luca Strand. <laughs> Literally just that. Outside of that, in any other situations like normal, normal shit, you want to even do far stuff, you can actually make use of her. That's that's how nice she is. So, yeah. Really, really good character. Plus, she has a delicious looking weapon, right? <laughs> I mean, literally, she has a delicious looking weapon. That is fucking insane too! <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> um... She's probably another probably another one that I kinda want again, but my probably right now my priority is just on potato, I think. Potato is more important. This one is just more like a fun character to have. But yeah, anyways, 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, impressions meme. I will see you guys again next time or on stream. Haha. <laughs> Remember like, subscribe and all the good shit, yeah. Okay.